The Super Bowl anthem singers have been announced. It's Eric Church and Jasmine Sullivan. In this video, we take a look at this news through the lens of Gematria to see why they were chosen for this and if it can give us any clues as to who's going to be in the game. But first, cue the intro. I don't tell down fam a pull up, just don't talk love a pull up, carrying a lawyer who's pull up, pulling the tiller, working through wind and the drizzle, people just gave me the scissors, deuce, I'm just gonna stand on these two shoes. Alright, let's get into the announcement. It's reported on January 19th, Super Bowl 2021, Eric Church and Jasmine Sullivan will team up to sing the national anthem before kickoff. H.E.R. is scheduled to sing America the Beautiful. Super Bowl LV is right around the corner, and as we get closer to the game, information on all of the events and appearances that come with the championship game are being revealed. On Tuesday, the NFL announced who will sing the National Anthem and America the Beautiful before kickoff. Grammy-nominated artists Eric Church and Jasmine Sullivan will collaborate for the first time ever to perform the National Anthem ahead of the game at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa on Sunday, February 7th. Grammy award-winning artist H.E.R. will also make an appearance during the pregame festivities and is scheduled to sing America the Beautiful. So let's take a look at each of these three artists. Alright, first we got Eric Church. His full name is Kenneth. Eric Church, born May 3rd, 1977, 43 years old. Jasmine Sullivan, her full name's Jasmine Marie Sullivan, born April 9th, 1987, she's 33 years old, and she's from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Then we got H.E.R., whose real name is Gabriella Sarmiento Wilson. Born June 27, 1997. Better known professionally as H-E-R, pronounced HER. An acronym for Having Everything Revealed. So that's what we're doing with this uh, code of letters and numbers is uh, everything that's hidden is revealed. So that's probably another clue for her being in here. So let's keep going. Uh, I've got a page of notes here. So yeah, that's the main article. There's the artists. Now, January 19th. That is the 131st day of the NFL season because this uh, the season started uh, September 10th. That was the game between the Chiefs and the Texans. So from that day to this news, 131 days, and as we know, 131 is the Super Bowl championship number. Super Bowl is 131, and championships 131. So that is one reason why they waited till that day to do to do the uh, news. Now another thing I noticed is. They're announcing that, that they're going to sing the anthem, and the anthem is, is also called the Star Spangled Banner. So that, as a word written out, is 119, how the date was January 19th. So there's, there's uh, those two things off the bat. Now, Jasmine Sullivan... She's born April 9th, like 4-9. So NFL is 49. It's NFL related news. Super Bowl 49. So she has a great birthday to be singing the anthem in the Super Bowl. So that's why that's why that news happened January 19th. Now, let's keep going. 101. This is the 101st NFL season. So we got Eric Church. The word church is 101. So that's very fitting for his name to be in the Super Bowl for the 101st season. And if you write out his full name, Kenneth Eric Church. 
and use the uh, the K exception. See how that is 101. That is 101 also. So his last name and his full name, 101. And we have Jasmine Sullivan, who's from Philadelphia, 101. So we got both artists with 101 connections. And while we're at it, since we're talking about the anthem, the word anthems 101. And uh, notice how it's 61, 101. Philadelphia also has the 61, 61, 101. Church, 61, 101. So speaking of church, there's a Bible verse that ties church and Philadelphia together. So let's look at that right quick. You're probably familiar with it already if you pay attention to this kind of stuff. Uh, it's Revelation 3, 7, and it's the verse, To the church of Philadelphia, to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write. You know, and then it has a, has a chapter address it, addressed to the church of Philadelphia. So there's that common thread there between Eric Church and Jasmine Sullivan, who's from Philadelphia. I want to say, well... Yeah, Eagles is 49. You know how the Eagles are from Philadelphia. And we just read about, read that verse from Revelation. Revelation 49, she's born on 4-9. So it's all connected together. Um, so yeah, we just talked about that. Church anthem, 61-101. So before we get into... Clues for the teams. I want to show you this from last year. Uh, they they use the anthem and halftime shows as big clues for who's going to be in the game, and it happens every year. And last year was no exception. So last year, Super Bowl Fifty Four, February second, two two, we had Demi Lovato as the anthem singer. So there were Demi's 22, Lovato's 22, singing the anthem on 2-2. Two, two. Okay. Now, if you look at her first name, Demi, it's 31. Chiefs is 31. Lovato's 32. Chiefs is 32. Her full name, Demetria Devon Lovato, 112. Chiefs is 112. So, once we saw that going on, it was a very good indication that the Chiefs were going to win that game. Okay, so back to this year's Super Bowl, Jasmine Sullivan. Her name has a lot of overlap with Buccaneers, I noticed, which uh, both, both of them equal 62 and 91. So we'll go ahead and show you uh, Jasmine Sullivan. So your name is 62 and 91. And then... Buccaneers, 62-91. And Jasmine just released a new album uh, just a few days ago, January 8, 2021. And the name of this album is called Hotels. Hotels. And they like changed the spelling to kind of like a French Louisiana kind of spelling. I was thinking like how... Uh, the Buccaneers just beat the, the Louisiana team, the Saints. But yeah, it's kind of like a play on words, hotels. And uh, anyway, that just came out on January 8th. So I was like, okay, let's measure the, let's measure the uh, album release date. So from, from uh, the album release date on January 8th, January 8th, 21, through her birthday, 4 9 21, 91 days. So there's another 91. Now, if we measure from the date of the Super Bowl to her birthday, 2 7, it is 62 days. So there's like the 91 and 62 again. 
Jasmine Sullivan and Buccaneer. There's a lot of overlap right there. I'll also point out that um, oh, Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes is 62. And the full word Tampa Bay Buccaneers is also 62. So 62 is a big number with the Buccaneers. So seeing that emphasized, that goes in the Buccaneers' favor with her name. So let's uh, keep going here. The word, the word hotels, how it's spelled, is 55, and she's uh, singing in Super Bowl 55. And the other person singing her, there, there is a single on this uh, album that features her. And also, speaking of her, they just announced that there's going to be a uh, female referee for the first time ever in the Super Bowl named Sarah Thomas. And then we just got uh, the first female vice president, Kamala Harris. So they're kind of piecing it together here so see this one this song here girl like me featuring her and that's like her most the most popular song on this album yeah it's like there's the lyric there's the lyrics for it it says this one was at least january 6 one one six let's see yeah mostly just that that uh, these two artists are connected to each other through this recent album. You got her, Jasmine Sullivan, Hotels. So we'll also uh, point out that the artist her, standing for having everything revealed, 131, like Super Bowl and Championship. And that song that they just did, Girl Like Me, 101 and 61. Remember how we were just talk we just talked about that? Anthem 101, 61, Church 101, 61. Name of this song, Girl Like Me, 101, 61. And her real name, Gabriella. Gabriella Wilson. Uh, the word Wilson's 38. I thought it was. Maybe I t oh, it's because of the exception there. K exception. Wilson's 38. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Now, let's look at Eric Church again. His most famous album, arguably, is called Chief, which came out in 2011. Okay, Chief, the third studio album by Eric Church was released on July 26, 2011, produced five singles, including his first two number one hits on the Billboard charts. So isn't it interesting that the anthem singer Eric Church has an album called Chief, and we could very possibly see the Chiefs in the, in the uh, Super Bowl game that he would be singing in. Um, now something, okay, I had this in my notes, her, her is 31 and 50, 31, 50, the word chiefs, 31 and 50, the word Brady, 31 and 50, so that's another way that they could be giving us some indication that it could be chiefs and Bucks. We got that. Eric Church. Now, Eric Church, he's 43 years old, just like Tom Brady. He was born just three months, three months ahead of Brady. He's born on 5-3. And Tom Brady, he's born on August 3rd. But 35 is a big number with Tom Brady throughout his career. Tom Brady's 35. And QB is 35. And you got Church's birthday, three slash five, five slash three. All right. Then his his real first name is Kenneth. K 
skin it. See how it's 32, 112, 31. Then if you write out Chiefs, 32, 112, 31. So three out of the four base ciphers, Chiefs and Kenneth, are, are uh, closely related. Now, let's think about the word Patrick. Uh, I found that correlated to Jasmine, Jasmine Sullivan. So if you write out Jasmine, 33, 111, 39, you write out Patrick, 33, 111, oh, it's 78, 33, 78, 111, Jasmine, 33, 78, 111, so yeah, three of the four ciphers, they match. Now, so we could have Patrick Mahomes in the Super Bowl for the Chiefs, and Tom Brady, his full name is Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr. So if we had a Super Bowl of Chiefs and Bucks, through the name Patrick, you'd kind of have a passing of the passing of the torch from the uh, the veteran Tom Brady to the young to the young star Patrick Mahomes. We don't know how many more years Brady will play, will play, but he's at the end of his career. And that is. That is all that I had in my notes here. So we can just uh, review it, review it right quick. But yeah, pretty much the gist of it: Eric Church, the Chief album, Jasmine Sullivan, her name very much close, close to uh, Buccaneer numbers. H E R just had the single with her, her name, it's closely related. Philadelphia Church, you know, it's all. It all looks like a riddle to me, and uh, oh, you know, those are the numbers that pop. Those are the numbers that pop to me. And like I didn't see, you know, if you type, if you look at the Packers numbers, Green Bay Packers, like uh, Green Bay by itself, Green Bay, Wisconsin. You know, like none of the. None of these numbers are the ones that are tied to those artists. Like there's no, not that many matches. And if you look at Bills, Buffalo Bills, Buffalo by itself, Buffalo, New York, Buffalo NY, you know, and even the individual players, Aaron Rodgers, you know, like, None of this stuff, none of this stuff really, none of this stuff's really hitting with the anthem singers. So that's what, that's what makes me lean that way. And if you're thinking it's the Packers, I mean, that, I would be, I would be uh, concerned about this. 6291 all over the, all over Jasmine Sullivan, Buccaneers numbers everywhere. Now, I mean, it is in the Buccaneers stadium. So it could just be, in, you know, her having having the name to be in the Buccaneers Stadium. But I wanted to put this put this video out there so other people can take a look and see if you have any other additional finds. And uh, we still got you know three four days three or four days to think about it before the games roll around. And uh, I'm also going to do another video about the weekend and the halftime show. There was a lot, a lot of clues kind of like this in the weekend and when he was announced to be the halftime performer. But yeah, that's what I got and we'll leave it there and I'll see you in the next video.